Come on over, there's always room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Right. <laughs> Try to stay dry, though. Try to stay dry. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a muggy night, not a muggy night, it's a murky night tonight, and uh, it looks like as we continue to pick up more and more rain, the fog will get less and less. They kind of don't go together too well, so uh, rain is filtering out the fog as it moves in, and you can see there's plenty of it to come as we uh, have a big surge coming from the southwest. Amounts to our southwest have been around uh, half an inch so far, and there's still rain in there, so uh, you should look for that much or more. I'll show you totals just a little bit. It's in Detroit now. It's through a good chunk of Livingston County, just starting to cross M59 here uh, through Oakland, Macomb County. So the fog is thickest on the northeast side just because the rain hasn't moved in as much and gotten steadier. Heavier out here by Jackson to Lansing. Those areas likely to see over an inch. Some spots around Metro Detroit it might get over an inch too by the time this is wrapping up early tomorrow morning. So temperatures and the radar together. The point is lots of times when it starts to rain, it really drags the temperature down, but we've been so moist. We've been so high in the humidity. Uh, numbers like 36, 37, 38 in Port Huron, Mount Clemens and uh, Lapeer won't drop much even as the rain starts. That's what's happened here. The rain hasn't uh, brought the temperatures down too much. So we're all going to stay above the freezing is the whole point of that discussion uh, through tomorrow morning, which is obviously great. We don't want to add ice to the roads. Look at the rain picking up the pace. So there's going to be a sharp cutoff to the back edge of this. This is 2 a.m. and it's working its way from south to north through 7 or 8 o'clock. There still could be some rain up here in the northeast part of the metro early part of the morning and then that pulls away. But some wraparound will leave some leftover either drizzle or light showers around and it could be a little steady here as we go through midday into the afternoon as well. Not as heavy as what we're going to get overnight, uh, but I wouldn't put the umbrella away if it stops raining at your house 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. You're going to want to keep it with you through the day. So again, a uh, good half inch to three quarters of an inch widespread. Some spots up here around M59. Back to the west especially. Here's US 23, Flint down to Ann Arbor. Some spots in Livingston County. Genesee County could have the best chance to go a little over an inch. Not out of the question though in the northern suburbs here too. So a good soaking rain. And we talked about this at the top of the show. Because of that, the snow melt that we've had, some rain earlier in the week. Uh, we're going to have to watch the streams and rivers this weekend because they're coming up. And this will certainly bring them up some more. Not a big problem expected tomorrow though in the morning drive. Overnight tonight. 18 is the average low. The record is minus 9. We're at 35 in Detroit instead. And tomorrow, not as foggy, but still not a great day. Won't see the sunshine. 40 for a high. A few more of those today than we had uh, in the last couple of days. We were right at 40 in Detroit. We'll go there again tomorrow, again on Saturday, close to it into early next week, and then back to the 40s on Wednesday and Thursday. Sunday, Tuesday, interesting question marks there. We'll discuss them coming up in just a little bit.